folks. See, I push buttons and I can't even do it really well. You recognize his face? I hope you do. This is the one, the only Larry Marshall from the B-Twin blog, our contributor and all-around fun guy. Uh, Larry, so you came hammering down out of Minnesota to get here, and uh, what do you think so far, Doc? Well, so far, it is packed. Yeah. I have never honestly seen it this packed on a Saturday. It's crazy. It is crazy. They, they, they've talked about anywhere from 800,000 to a million-plus people. I think I think we're at probably close to 800,000 now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not here, you need to get here. I'm yeah. telling you, this year's surge is going to be off the hook. <laughs> and there's a lot going on. Uh, Larry, speaking of a lot going on, you got some stuff kind of – the blog is getting different. The Between Blog's kind of growing a little bit. Something changing. It is. It is. I had to. I actually had to slow down to speed up. Okay. Um, I was probably trying to do a little, too, little bit too much. So now I'm more into the uh, – I'm going to start doing more videos. Okay. Um, in fact, I'm going to, this is an exclusive right now, Curtis. This whole week, I, I was trying to decide on what my theme was going to be for this week for, for doing live streams and blogs. Yeah. It's going to be food. 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 Um, I'm, I'm not a small guy. No. And I like to eat. Okay. I like to eat a lot of things when I come here. So right. um, there's a lot of unique things, uh, oysters, uh, Weird stuff that you can eat that people don't know about. So let me I'm gonna show let, people that. Yeah, let me highly recommend the euros back here. See, I will eat those. Right? I will, I'm going to eat anything. I'm pretty much going to eat my way through Sturgis. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> eat and, I'm going to read it no matter what because I'm some I'm a foodie too. Although most of it has to do with corn dogs and mustard, or it has to come out of a convenience <laughs> store. I guess I don't know. Right on. So what's been going on in the interim now? You you like me have been trying to get a house bought and do some other things. So a lot of a lot of life stuff going on. But yeah. What's what's happening with the blog? Um, you know, it's just. Really nothing. <laughs> I, mean, I, love to say, I love to say I'm doing all these great things and make some story up. No, nah, yeah. no, nah, I'm just I'm trying to hold hold tight. Okay. Um, I, I'm trying to just maintain. I don't want to. I was like I said, I was doing too. What? Who the hell? What? Wait, say, hang there. What's who are up? You? <laughs> Fish, how I you doing, what, buddy? I do what I want. <laughs> See, this is this is why we do after hours when we can because these two characters make it all worthwhile. It's just <laughs> absolutely fun. Good to see you, man. So let's let's talk a little bit about uh, current the current status of Indian performance. Okay, as I've talked with Lloyd, I've talked with Tim, and we had Tim on just a little while ago. Indian performance is really looking now at a new paradigm shift. It's pushing past whatever barrier there might have been. Talk yes. to me a little bit about that. So I think Indian is where everybody thought Victory would be. Right yeah, now. yeah. Because um, Victory was there were rumors about Victory being the performance line, and then Victory got shut down. Um, Indian is doing all that performance stuff, man. Um, I'm seeing, you know, I was just talking to Fish a few minutes ago, uh, the exhaust that he's doing. He asked if I was getting the cans put in while I'm here. Right, right, um, right. <laughs> and if I do, I will get them at Lloyd's Garage. Absolutely. Um, at Buffalo Chip <laughs> in Sturgis. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, so I'm seeing that. You know yeah. what else I'm seeing? And this is not necessarily a performance thing, but um, there are – People must be buying up motorcycles like crazy because yeah. I was in our local dealership and I'm hearing this is common across the country. I was in our local dealership, there were no bikes. Well, there was a there was a dramatic stall in production availability, yeah. obviously. But then as as Polaris and Indian tried to re-gear and get ready for to pre-produce again, they already had committed themselves to the new FTR and the chief. Yeah. Resources were in that department. And so for them to rebound now and get production back up to full scale has really been a slow, kind of arduous process. Okay. And not only are motorcycles selling in the term of about 30% over a year ago, quarter to quarter, mm -hmm. but Indian and Indian and Polaris in particular are now in a place where they're just now, months later, just getting to that place where they can kind of get the supply line rolling again. What's been really cool, though, is that dealers have been able to adapt to a prepay order type thing. Yes. And customers have been okay with it for the most part because they know it is what it is, right? Is there some love going on back here? All right. You know, it's the last time I had my show photo bombed. It was by pretty girls. But look at this cat. I'm telling you. I mean, you're, you're really about you. Are we on a, on a podcast? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're live right now. Yeah. Indian Rider Radio. About the new Challenger? Oh, we're talking about it all, bro. Yeah. Oh, we're about Oops, what? Everything, man. We're talking everything. about everything. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your, what's your favorite thing about the new Challenger? Alphabetically or chronologically? <laughs> I mean, you still talking about the Challenger? I think that I think that well I think the Challenger is you know and uh, Larry and I have talked about it on the show before I think the Challenger is a new it's a new foundation for what American V twins are going to look like liquid cooled higher performance you don't have to have huge displacement but you got a performance motorcycle out of the box 
that's what I like best about it. It actually runs very, very well. My buddy actually has. I've got a well-built street glide. Okay. It's got about 145 horse, and he. I mean, he does. I mean, he does not like it. He does very well. That I like the windshield. Oh yeah. Up and down. Power windshields. Yeah. The windshield, you guys, you guys need to know about. The hey, windshield. I sold, I, like I sold more India motorcycle by flipping that lever right oh, there man. than ever today. Yeah. Telling you, the windshield game changer. <laughs> when you're riding in the rain, man, it makes a difference. That Indeed. windshield just pops up a little bit. Rain goes over your head. Oh. The right women. I mean, yeah. Right there. Indians got your back, guys. The Indians always there. I'm, just gonna, back. I'm yeah. just gonna let him do this. I'm just gonna let him do this. Right here, man. Thanks for dropping in, man. Good to see you. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, well, there's his 15 minutes. <laughs> now, three million people are going to see that. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah see three that. million uh, over the next 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> so it's exciting, though. I mean, you and I both, have, we've had the opportunity now to be press people here. We can talk to some of these guys on the backside. And, you know, I, I think it's I think it's critical. And maybe you can echo this, maybe not that we continue to kind of be out there doing what we do because yes. there's so many questions surrounding performance, the bikes themselves, you know, and what Indian is doing in the American V twin market. Yeah, I think it needs to, I think it needs to be more noise more often. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, Indian has their ambassadors, yeah. which I believe are doing a great job. Yeah. Um, you know, we need to be not necessarily spokesmen, but cheerleaders. Yeah. Um, we need to cheerlead the brand because the brand is great. And, um, Tell everybody you know about about your bike. Right. You're Indian. Yeah. You're gonna get stopped. You're gonna get at. If people are gonna ask you questions, okay. they're gonna say they're gonna ask you. I always get asked how fast is it, and I go, it's really fast. It's really fast. Um, yeah. They're gonna. The thing, like the guy was saying there, um, the windshield is an awesome addition. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, the the power windshield. Personally, my favorite thing on them is the um, is the ride ride modes. Yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah. Man, those ride modes, it makes a difference. Uh, not so too boring of a story, but oh, you know, I come out, I'm on my way out here. I pop on the freeway and just instantly I go, put it in tour mode. Yeah. Save a little gas. I don't need to be heavy on the throttle. Yep. Um, I get into downtown Sturgis, sport mode. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not having any Harleys <laughs> beat me at the line. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. So, so so now let me let me dovetail on your story. I'm cruising through town yesterday, or as best you can in Lavelle Street, you know. <laughs> And uh, as traffic is moving around, I suddenly get surrounded by them, right? A whole bunch of HDs come up around me. Every single guy does the head turn, looks, goes, yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, I kind of grinned as I rolled away. I was like, all right. Exactly. I, I love that shit. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, they recognize, man. We got, we got, I don't want to start too much trouble, but we've got bikes that are not they don't take us backseat to harlem correct that's that's the best way to say it and and you know if you guys <laughs> if you well yeah if you guys have been around your motorcycling for a long time or you know you remember the king's mountain area you remember the gilroy era where it was they were beautiful motorcycles aesthetically very pretty motorcycles mm -hmm. and very are, and iconic in their look but they were substandard bikes in a lot of ways. And as a result, Harley guys would look at us like, oh, you, you went that way. Yeah. You, you did that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's just a Harley with uh, yeah. the Indian paint on it. Isn't that right? an SNS motor? What's yeah. It? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this, I think, and this is one of the things that I'm so excited about, is Polaris making that kind of commitment to the brand where they're not afraid to throw these performance factors out there. This is stuff yeah, that was man. on the Victory drawing board that they can now push into this this new mold. Yep, exactly. exactly. Yeah, it's going to be huge. And you you know, you being a Victory guy too and you you did a lot of well, you did shows, you had show bikes. Yeah. Um I don't think I ever asked you, was it a hard transition looking from one to the next? Not at all. Okay. It was natural. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I think I told the story to you before, but it just might be worth repeating. Um Originally, when I started, when I got back into riding, um, I was looking at Indians. Yeah. And I just didn't, I didn't like them. Um, they just, because it, it, it was the, it was the knockoff Harley at sure, the time. Sure, sure. Yeah. And um, so I started looking at the Victory line and I was like, you know what? This bike kind of speaks to me. I'm an engineer. Spoke to me. A uh, computer engineer. Yeah. It spoke to me. Um, but I've always wanted to end it because that's what my grandfather wrote. Yeah. And when Polaris bought Indian, I was like, okay, it's going to happen. I just don't know when, but it's going to happen. And um, and I was actually out here when they did the unveil, 
And I saw that. I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah, it's yeah. it's a wrap. Yeah. So I think it was the next year um, I well, came me, into town. But then let me ask you to repeat one other thing then. Yeah, I've heard this on the street, okay? The, the original Indians, 14, 15, 16, mm -hmm. the iconic original colors, a lot of the uh, iconic look, you yeah. know, the things that we all recognized as an Indian motorcycle. I've heard guys say that they're departing from that too quickly, that, they're, they, that they didn't give that enough time, and now they're moving more modern. What's your opinion there? I agree. Do you I agree? agree? Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 As much as I love my 2019, um, there were some, there some styling cues that I wish – they had from the previous from the sure 14 15 16 yeah uh, which they took from the 50s that's right so i wish i wish that was still there yeah but at the same time man i, I love i love the way my new bike rides yeah you know i love it it's yeah. it it rides just a little bit better does a few things just a little bit better than the 15 i had so you so, know yeah i well i fully totally yeah I, I get you i and i still when i get on it i still turn around and look at it in fact you just did it again. Yeah, that, that, that right out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we are going to be here at Lloyd's Garage throughout the rally. Obviously, Larry's going to drop in and say hi with us every once in a while. Yep. And follow the B-Twin blog. Check it out, btwinblog.com. And, of course, Larry Larry and I were, you know, he was a contributor to the show. He had some wonderful things he was bringing to the table. He got busy. My summer went down the toilet, and we wound up in missing places. But we've been looking forward to this because this is the first yes. time we've actually got to sit next exactly, to each other, right? Exactly. Yeah. But, I may have given him and Fish a bear hug when I walked up. I just, I don't know. It's, it was. Know. It was. It was I'm a bear hug. Girl, it was a group bear hug, actually. It felt great. I'm going to do it again later. <laughs> and, and Curtis, I think I'm going to I'm gonna make a point of coming on later on in the week. Okay. Because there should be at least three stories I have to tell. I would say three. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably three. And if you haven't heard some of Larry's stories, you got to come back and join us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Curtis is going to understand. These, are sto these stories are real. Oh, it's, it's, it's going down tonight. I didn't doubt the first time, but I'm now going to see it live and in person. I can't argue with that. Plus, my wife doesn't get into town till tomorrow. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. just saying. I'm just saying. So it goes from interesting to epic oh, that yeah. quick. Yeah, it's, it's about to go down. <laughs> Larry Marshall for the B-Twin blog with me. Indian Rider Radio here at Lloyd's Garage, the world-famous Buffalo Chip, Sturgis 2021. We'll come back and see you guys again in just a little while. Thanks for spending time with us this afternoon.